Hey Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk a little bit about bottlenecking. And so what a bottleneck is, is essentially it's your limiting factor as to why you can't run X-Plane faster. And of course we're talking about X-Plane in this case. And I want to show you how the bottleneck can change on the exact same system. I tell people this all the time. It depends on how you plan to display X-Plane. Are you going to use a single 4K? Are you going to use four 1080p, some 1440 displays, whatever? It can vary depending on the number of pixels as well as your, your graphics settings. So let's take a look here at our task manager. And right now we're running X-Plane at 4K. I wanted to do 4K because it would put a big load on the system. And here you can see that our 1080 is only running at 62% of its capacity. And our processor shows 66%. I know that the processor is our bottleneck. Why? Because X-Plane can't effectively use all six of these cores. I could disable two of these cores, probably three of them, and our performance wouldn't change at all. Um, so X-Plane is using the processor as much as it can, and the only way to get any more frames per second would be increase, to increase our clock speed over and above 4.5. And again, you see our GPU is only running at 62% utilization. Now X-Plane can fully utilize that. So right here, our bottleneck is the processor. The only way to go faster is to increase the clock speed. But let's change our bottleneck. I'm going to go to the graphics settings and I'm going to turn the anti-aliasing all the way up. And what AA does is it makes the jagged lines that you might see often off in the distance look um, straighter, uh, smoother, and you get less artifacting but it uses a lot more graphics card. We went from probably close to 100 frames per second down to 25 or so. So let's look at our task manager again. Notice our GPU is pegged out at 100% essentially. So now we know for a fact that the GPU is now the bottleneck. A minute ago the processor was. Now it's the GPU. What did I do? All I did was change my graphics settings. Look at the CPU. Remember it was running I think around 65% off the top of my head. Now the CPU is only running in the upper 30s. Why is that? Well, the graphics card is so busy that the, the um, CPU doesn't have enough work to do. He's waiting on the graphics card all the time. And so his load actually goes down. So we increased our graphics settings, yet our CPU utilization went down and that's because the bottleneck shifted to the graphics card because of the graphics settings we were using. We go back in here we turn our anti-aliasing way down and I'm going to extremes here and then suddenly our CPU utilization goes back up to the mid to upper 60s almost coming close to doubling at least 50 percent higher and then our GPU goes down to 62 percent so we lowered our graphics settings, yet we increased the CPU utilization, and that's because the bottleneck has now shifted back to the CPU. So to ask someone, what's the bottleneck in my system? Why can't I go faster? You have to have more information because it's very dependent on how many displays, what resolution they are, and even what your graphics settings are in X-Plane. So hopefully that helps uh, sort of I don't know, probably didn't demystify, more like mystified um, performance with X-Plane and, and figuring out where your bottleneck is.